Capricorn, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be a reading for singles. All right. What's going on with those singles, ladies and gents? Single, independent Capricorn. What's going on with you guys? Let's tune right in. We're going to get four more shuffles and see what's going on with you guys. Let's get one more shuffle and see what's going on with the single Capricorns. All right, there you are. King of Coins. Ten of Coins. Ten of Wands. Hmm. All right. The Tower moment, ladies and gents. Well, it seems like good. That there's, there's some good and some bad things. I feel that you're focusing your energy on your own balance. I get a lot of focus in your the mundane life, okay, yourself, your own groundedness, your home, your your career, and you may be connecting, or you may have someone around your proximity, you may have someone on your mind when it comes to love, all right, but I just don't see a lot of activity in regards to that, Capricorn, and I see more so this energy of being weighed down by that situation. Let's look into this energy. Uh, what's going on with the King of Coins with Capricorn? Wow, oh, Knight of Coin, Knight of Wands. All right, Knight of Wands. I feel that you got a, you got an option here that you're just not too interested in. Okay, you are entertaining it. I see you. I see you leaving the door open, but it's like you're not you're turning your back on it yet, taking a peek over your shoulder. <laughs> turning your back yet, taking a peek over your shoulder. <clears throat> Yeah, this turned into a disappointment. I feel that whatever sort of action ensued and brought this relationship to an end, to a defeat, was something that needed to happen. It was just, it wasn't a fair situation. And there was a serious disharmony. There was a serious disharmony. Someone could have been juggled. Someone could have even been played, all right? Someone could have been played with. Someone was not taken seriously. This could have been you. And the situation that resulted in an ending, in a disappointment, in, in something that was difficult to walk away from, let's just say. Now, what's going on with this Ten of Coins? What's going on with this Ten of Coins here? This is prosperity, ladies and gents. The defeat. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting the sense that there's, this is just referring to yourself, to your own groundedness. All right, I feel like your focus is on other matters. You've completely abandoned love, I feel. And you're just entirely immersed in your own stability, in your own prosperity, in your own groundedness. All right, in your own success, in your own wealth, in your own happiness. It's really where I see Capricorn's energy. Now, what's going on with this Ten of Wands? I feel like this is what's indicating the love, your love life. There's just a, a, an oppressive energy surrounding your love life. Sure, other, other parts of your life are good, but your love life is depressing, let's just say. Three of, three of cups. <laughs> Capricorn. Hey, imagine I may do this, guys. But imagine I title this reading. It's a singles reading, and I title it, I title it, Your Love Life is Depressing. <laughs> Oh my god, I wonder how you guys would react to it. I'm probably gonna do it out of experimentation purposes. All right, ever nevertheless. What's going on here? Ten of Wands, clarified by the Three of Cups. Oh shit, the past is returning, ladies and gents. And I don't want to hear, I want new love, talk about new love. This is a singles reading, not new love reading. All right, this is for those that are single. And well, typically people that are single obviously have access, <laughs> which is completely understandable. And it seems that I'm tuning into somebody's situation in which there's an ex that's going to be coming around. So you put some distance between yourself and somebody else. They're coming back around, Capricorn. All right. They're coming back around and they may in fact already be around. And this relationship just seems to put weight on you. It's like a fucking weight. It's a burden that you cannot release. But someone is quite adamant about giving you love and working things with you. It's kind of hard to deny this, all right? This sort of energy that I'm, that I'm picking up. Hmm. You're, you may be attracted to this individual on a sexual level. This individual may play on, on your fantasies, or you just may be fanciful when it comes to this individual. You entertain. It's like you could be entertaining something in your mind that, that you also know doesn't work or hasn't been successful in the past. There's red flags and you're still entertaining 
that it could work. All right, can it work? I don't know. We're gonna find out. What's going on with you? What's going on? What's, let's look into your specific energy, Capricorn. Let's look into your specific energy. Ten of Cups. All right. Ten of Cups. What's going on with that? Success, ladies and gents. Success. Su success, but no sex sex. There's success, but there's no sex sex. Sex sex. Look at the death card. What's going on here? I get the indication that this is separation. This is an ending here. Tell me more. <clears throat> Guys, I feel that you, if you have an ending here and you decided to move forward away from this toxic situation, you found happiness. Like you're finding abundance. You're finding happiness. You're doing good. You're doing good. Cross watcher, leave Capricorn alone. All right, let him do his thing. You're going to fuck it up. <clears throat> you're going to fuck up their vibe. You know that song, Don't Fuck With My Vibe, or what is it called? Anyways, don't fuck with my vibe. I don't think it goes like that. <laughs> but anyways, guys. So, um, you're finding abundance. You're finding good. This is pro prosperity. <clears throat> wow, the wheel of fortune. You're completely aligned. Let me tell you. What you're doing, your action, your, your, the force that you got toward bringing about abundance and stability into your life is absolute alignment with blessings. And in due time, you will be getting this type of love that you actually want, the lovers, all right? And the reason being is because you're doing the work, ladies and gents, okay? You're doing the work. And maybe this individual that you last dealt with was the catalyst to push you to do the work. So don't hate on them. Don't hate on them. They do look less developed than you. They're appearing as a knight while you are a king, my dear king. So, with that said, yeah, you can't hate on them, ladies and gents. If you're really this mature emperor or empress, then you understand people well, you know? You understand where they're at in their developmental phase, and you won't take things personally, but you'll be discernful, and you'll be able to hold your poise and even hold a conversation with this individual without getting your, you know, your emotions involved. <clears throat> so, let's be mature, shall we? Which you are. You truly are. I want to date. I want to date a Capricorn. Where, where are the Capricorn? Where the Capricorns at? I'm being a clown. Anyways, let's look into whomever's coming towards you. Let's see. It seems like you're preoccupied anyways, all right? So the dating will probably not work out because you got someone else lingering around. What's going on? Okay. Ah. Uh, here we go. Someone's just fucking lingering around. They're not being decisive. All right. This individual is just not even leaving after whatever has happened. And they're entertaining the thought of coming back and forth and, and manifesting this situation. It's like, look, if you're going to step up and move towards this king, Capricorn, you got to be decisive. You can't fuck around and say, I don't know if, the, you know, I don't know. What the fuck? You better fucking know what you want if you're gonna come, if you're trying to deal with a king here. No wonder Copper Capricorn isn't interested. <clears throat> I don't know, we'll see, I mean. We shall see. The tower will fuck. I mean, they got their ass laid out. All right, but whatever happened here really struck this individual and it kind of even made them smaller, ladies and gents. If you're dealing with someone that was a bit of a playboy, playgirl, it's like their ego took a hit, something, they, their own groundedness took a hit, and it's like they got even less of a person. I know that doesn't sound right. They, they became less of a person. They didn't become less of a person is what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that they, they basically, they lost some power, okay? The game that they were working, that, that they dealt with, that they played with, it just lost its power. So it's like from this, having this bravado, to all of a sudden, you're now a fucking boy. You know what I mean? From the knight to the page. Now, wanting to come forward and, and be kind and benevolent. What happened to the fucking swag? <clears throat> well, they got put in their place. They got put in their place. That's what happened. <clears throat> and now they're a bit reserved with their emotions. They're a bit reserved with their emotions, yet they want to come towards you. They want to come toward you. You're dealing with someone that is a bit immature. 
Let's be real. All right. <clears throat> but they fucking want to be with you. What can I say? They want to be with you, Capricorn. This individual wants to be with you, no matter what. <clears throat> Ladies and gents, I'm going to get some more energy here from this individual. And then we're going to be taking this to the extended and really, really looking into this individual. But I just want to, what I want to do here is I want to get some words of wisdom for you regarding the situation, Capricorn. All right, any words of wisdom regarding the situation that will facilitate Capricorns? Well, the Ace of Swords, interesting. Communication is coming forward. They're going to want to work things out. Somebody's going to want to work things out with you. All right, so going to want to be honest with you and truthful with you, Capricorn. Listen, to, hear them out, hear them out. This individual is really passionate about you. They're really passionate about you, and they're really heartbroken by what's happened. All right, this individual is clearly emotionally invested, and they're wanting to change this. They're wanting to change this, and they're really trying. Like they're really going to try. You're gonna see effort on this individual. So long you leave that door open, you will see effort from this person. Hmm. But be discernful, ladies and gents. All right, do not be fooled by what they tell you. Look beyond the mundane, okay? The words that they're telling you, etc. Use your intuition. Be discernful, all right? You know more about this individual than, they're, than what they're presenting. You know that they could be quite slithering, ladies and gents. Be discernful. But hear them out. Fuck. I feel that, I feel exactly that, ladies and gents. I feel that this situation is still lingering around you. I'm gonna be honest with what I'm saying here, Capricorn. I feel the situation is lingering around you and I feel like you're, you're just, too, you're vibing too high for this individual. You're not gonna accept what, what's being offered here, but it doesn't hurt to hear them out. It will stir negativity. There will be conflict. There will be a lack of seeing eye to eye with one another. And you may ask, then why the hell would I even open up if there's gonna be a problem? Because because if it's not, then the levee's never gonna break. Does that make sense? It's like the levee's collecting water and it's fucking, the pressure's there, fuck it. Let that last log come in so that the levee can actually fucking break and this could be done with, all right? You see, you're holding on a burden to this situation. If conflict comes back around one last time, this could actually be the release, all right? But I'm telling you, I'm not seeing you take this. I'm seeing, I'm just telling you, be discernful. Use your intuition. Look beyond what this individual is communicating to you, all right? I'm going to take this to the extent that I'm going to look into their feelings, their actions towards you. I'm going to look into the near future of this relationship. And I'm going to look into their long-term intentions. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. Otherwise, Capricorn, I'll see you guys in another video.